Antarctica is covered by the largest piece of ice on Earth. How that ice moves and changes affects the entire planet. A NASA airborne mission called Operation Ice Bridge is now completing its eighth consecutive year of measuring the changes in Antarctic ice. The science team uses the most comprehensive suite of instruments ever flown on long-range flights, including lasers, radars, an infrared sensor, digital photography, and a gravimeter. The mission was born out of a need to bridge the gap in observations between NASA's ICESat satellite which ended its mission in 2009, and ICESat-2, scheduled for launch in 2018. This year, IceBridge was able to fly two missions around the 88th parallel to provide measurements at the southernmost edge of ICESat-2's planned orbits. Many of IceBridge's 24 science flights this year were focused on mapping the sea floor, where the Antarctic ice sheet meets ocean waters so that scientists can better predict how fast the margins of the ice might melt. The mission also flew extensively over Antarctic sea ice, measuring extent and thickness of the frozen seawater. The team found coverage to be sparse in the Bellingshausen Sea, and as we know from satellite observations, sea ice coverage around the continent is currently at a record low for this time of year. Several missions around the Antarctic Peninsula also provided a wealth of data and some beautiful images. Of special interest, was a flight over a growing crack in the Larsen Sea ice shelf. Once this crack is fully formed, it will produce an iceberg roughly the size of the state of Delaware. All of this year's flights were based out of Punta Arenas, Chile. But next year, IceBridge plans to fly out of McMurdo Station in Antarctica in order to hit a new range of important science targets and continue to shed light on how melting polar ice is contributing to sea level rise.